This is a special day in AI. DeepSeek has just released two models. One is a special model for deep reasoning and the other one is a general purpose model with tool capabilities. I already have covered both of these with architecture thorough testing just a few hours ago in this video which you can check out on the channel. But as was promised in that video, this video is all about how to get this special model installed locally. I am very, very grateful to Hyperbolic for giving me credits so that I could test out this model and I will also drop their link in video's description. Please do check them out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a 16 GPU node in order to get it installed and each one would have around 80 GB of VRAM. Let me also show you that. So my Ubuntu system is this and I will be using two nodes. So this node has eight GPUs, as you can see, 80 GB VRAM, and the other one also has 80 GB VRAM. And this is the at, you know minimum you would need in order to get this thing installed. Otherwise, it is not going to work anyway. So that is all done. Next step is to install all the prerequisites. And for the prerequisites, you would need to install this torch and torch vision torch audio. This is going to take a bit of a time with deep gem. I already have it installed, so it might be a bit quicker. And again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. And for thorough uh, testing of these models, please check out this video. Also, please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without hype and fluff and all that really really helps a lot helps a lot please also consider becoming a member of the channel okay let's go back and check our terminal and everything is installed next up let's log into hugging face and this is where you would need to put your read token and you can see that I'm now logged in. It's a free read token, which you can also obtain from Hugging Face uh, profile. Next up, let's download the model. Now the model is huge. It is 163 shards. So make sure you have that much space. So you see that I have started downloading it. Uh, thankfully, the speed is quite good at hyperbolic. As you can see, it is actually quite hyperbolic speed. And I'm so glad that it is because uh, I just have $50 credit. I am just in 30 minutes. I've already passed due to my testing. So hopefully it is going to finish. It is just the race with the time. So I'm so glad that this is the speed is quite good. So meanwhile, it downloads it uh, because that is a step which we are going to follow. Let me quickly show you the code which I'm going to use in order to uh, use this model. So as you can see, this is a code which I actually have grabbed from their model cards. If you go to their model card and I will drop the link to it in videos description, go to files, go to inference. And then this is a generate.py, which you can check out. So all we are doing, uh, I have just modified it a bit so that I don't have to pass any parameters. But other than that, all we are doing, we are down, you know, we already have downloaded the model. We are loading it onto our GPUs and then from there, we are giving it a prompt. It is converting into logits or the raw probabilities. From there, it is um, providing us the ranking scoring, whatever internals of uh, they are doing. From there, we are just passing it the prompt. I will also, instead of passing it through here, I'm just going to give it uh, the prompt hard-coded one just to show you because for the testing one as i said earlier i already have tested it here so this video is more about uh, how to get it installed locally which you can see is fairly simple by the way if you don't know um, what deep seek and well all that history is just search my channel so this is a script which you can really grab from their website too okay let's go back it is still downloading and um, it is still you know around 66 shards so let's wait and while it downloads let's talk a bit more around this model because i think that a lot of good things are happening around it but without any hyper fluff look the model uh, the benchmarks are, are quite good in terms of coding and also other stuff but the thing is that the model is similar to what we have the Anthropics Cloud, you know, Sonnet 4.5 and the ChatGPT and Gemini 3. 
The thing is that maybe the Anthropic Cloud Opus 4.5 is better than this one slightly because there is no benchmark available. But all in all, the model is at par with all the major closed source AI labs. Having said that, they might release another model soon, which trump it up. But that is not the point here. The reason why community is so excited and I think that this is such a good thing is because of this license, which is extremely, extremely permissive. MIT license, which means you can use it anywhere. You can use it for business purposes and you can use it for any commercial purposes. Especially this special model is for deep reasoning tasks, which is really handy for enterprises. So uh, I'm actually quite uh, quite happy about it because a lot of people were hyped about Gemini 3, but uh, and everyone was saying that Google has delivered such a strong model and they they have beaten everyone else. But now I believe DeepSeek has released an equally um, powerful model and they have just casually dropped it because uh, I think if any other lab would have released it, they would have called it V4, but they have, they're have just calling it 3.2 special. Because if you remember, they also released a 3.2 experimental just a couple of three weeks ago, I guess. So instead of calling it a new model, they have just called it 3.2 special, which is quite, quite yeah, I would say really, really good stuff because they are not really hyping it up by themselves. Also, I think um, three innovations which are also mentioned uh, on their bottle card and I have gone into them in great detail in simple words. I think they make it really, really good. And if any other lab want to replicate it, they can very easily do that, which is very good of them. Okay, let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will see. Okay, so the model is downloaded, took a bit of a time. Now let me clear the screen. And now let me run that inference script. By the way, I already have warmed up my model, so it should be already there. And you can see that it is loading and model should already be loaded onto the GPU. There you go. And the simple question which I have asked is what is the sum of all prime numbers? And this is what I really like about this model is that it tries to be very economical with a token. So if a question would require deep thinking long thinking it would do that if not it would just go accordingly and we saw that in our previous video which i covered in the morning now you can not only i'm just using transformer but you can also serve it with vllm which is again um, very simple one i will also show you quickly what the command is so let me quickly show you the vllm serving so this is a command which you need to use if you are looking to serve it with VLLM. So just install the nightly VL, um, nightly VLLM or just do VLLM here and it should install it and then make sure that you install this deep gem library and that's about it and this is how you serve it and you can increase the number of uh, GPUs here. You can also use tensor processing if you like. So that's it. Let me know what do you think. Again, please like the video and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any fluff. Thank you for all the support.